This man was stabbed 100 times at Castle Park after a night of drinking. James Atfield, 33 years old, was a father of five who suffered from brain damage due to a car accident. On March 29, 2014, he was stabbed over 100 times whilst lying on some grass at Castle Park, Essex, after a night of drinking. He was found bleeding to death by paramedics who sadly couldn't save his life. Police were startled by the violent nature of the crime and news outlets deemed it too gruesome to describe. Three months later, on June 17th, Nahid Almenia was stabbed in the abdomen at Salary Brook Trail, Essex, near her home. She was then stabbed through the eyes, which ended up in her brain, ultimately killing her. After a year of silence, on the 27th of May 2015, police got a call from a concerned dog walker who saw a man hiding in the bushes. When attending, they found James Fairweather, 16, with rubber gloves and a knife trying to find his third victim. It was found that James Fairweather had an unhealthy obsession with Jack the Ripper and other serial killers. He wanted to become a serial killer himself. James was only 15 years old when he committed these murders. He was originally interviewed after the murder of James Atfield due to already having knife crime on his criminal record where he had tried to rob a shop for cigars at knife point in January 2014 and was sentenced to a year of supervision. He gave an alibi and was not questioned any further. In his trial, Fairweather claimed to have psychosis and was hearing voices which made him commit the murders. However, four psychiatrists all testified and were in agreement that there was no evidence of psychosis, but he did have autism. The judge believed that Fairweather's undiagnosed autism could have played a part in his obsession with serial killers, but to link the condition to crimes would be an unjustified slur against autistic people. On April 29, 2019, Fairweather was sentenced to a life sentence with a minimum term of 27 years. When asked why he stabbed Nahid through the eyes, he answered, I didn't want her to see evil.